this work has been a thread of what's kept me turning back towards life. So I come from a country that experiences crisis, war, corruption, and all sorts of uh, violence against humanity. I was lost. I didn't know where I was going. I remember like feeling so enraged that I couldn't see nothing around me. I don't feel the support, the community support around me out in just regular life. <laughs> I see uh, daily how much queer and trans youth are suffering and, and, and in need of a space where they are truly accepted for who they are. So the communities that we work with, it's very unsafe. I feel like the girls are having so much to deal with at the very young age that they don't have enough tools and resources to process what they're dealing with. I come from living in Israel-Palestine and working with Israel, Jordan and Palestine, working on solving shared environmental issues that are cross-border. I don't try to resolve conflict, like conflict will always be there. There's different ways of solving conflict or living with conflict without killing each other. Well, I work in spaces with people who are incarcerated. All of my clients have been traumatized um, in one way or many. When I work with people, I'm asking a lot of them because I'm really asking them to talk about their trauma. So many people are walking around as a hot mess. <laughs> There's a lot of anxiety in our system. We're working to decolonize systems at this point and in in order to be able to do that kind of work, to be able to make systemic change, we have to be in right relationship with ourself and with the earth, with our ancestors, with the elders. The world needs healing and needs leaders who are going to step up and meet the challenges of today. There's so much disconnect in the world right now and a core aspect of this work is is connection. I just think that there's no other way in these times but in our bodies. Our body is our tool. It's as simple as that. And if we are disconnected from it, we don't have tools anymore. We're in massive transition as a species, as a planet. The template of transition that we go through individually um, is a, it helps us to learn about how to navigate those greater transitions we're facing collectively. What I've always treasured about Soma Source is the way that it brings in spirit, justice, emotional healing, and community in the same breath, in an embodied way. I feel very clear about my journey, about knowing that it's of service to youth, and also with balancing how to self-manage and self take care of self too so that I can keep showing up for other people. What if more people of all ages and of course especially the youth you know, to have this experience? Everyone everywhere could have an experience like this.